Hey everybody, it's Mama J, and we are here with a brand new case of Rolling Stones Premium Trading Cards. Now, these come with six cards per pack, and then you're randomly inserted guitar picks, stickers, and hollow foils. Now, this is from 2006 but we're going to break it open <laughs> and we're going to see what's inside. So I'm figuring 24 packs, we'll do three packs an episode. I'm not sure if there's a checklist. If so, then, you know, of course, we'll look and see what we want to shoot for. But right now we're going to go ahead and break open this case. Yes, I did pay a nice penny for it, but I thought it would be fun to open. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. Yes. All right. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Brand new case. All right. Now, this is on the back, so I don't know if those are like all the stickers you can collect or not. What is that? Three, six, seven. It's like 20, so I'm not really sure. 150 card base set featuring classic tour posters, album art, rare photographs, and trivia spanning over 40 years of the Rolling Stones rock and roll history each pack contains six officially licensed trading cards bonus packs inserts include randomly placed collectible rolling stone guitar picks one in every six satin sticker cards one in every eight holograph tongue cards one in 12 odd reflective of overall production run and do not guarantee number of premium per box which i know because these packs are just Boom. So we don't know which packs. And I'm not sure. Like nothing in here is where you can you whoops where you can feel it. Okay. So we're just gonna grab three packs. Here we go. I got three right here. And we're gonna open them up and see what we got. Kind of didn't want to tear the packages all up. Alright, cool. So this side actually shows a picture. So that's like Keith Richards. What does it say on the back? 1981's Tattoo You was a big record for the Rolling Stones, despite Heaven and Neighbors being the LP's only fresh track. And this is card number 122. This is card number 19. So each one of these has something on the back. Charlie Watts was a former member in the Notable Blues Incorporated that included Brian Jones and Alex Corner. Boom. 1981's Tattoo, you dispense a slew of early quick takes and was the group's eighth consecutive number one studio album since Let It Bleed. All right. Oh, next. Oh, there was two of them together. An estimate of 1 billion TV viewers tuned in to watch the Rolling Stones NFL Super Bowl halftime show on February 5th, 2006. The Rolling Stones played a benefit show in Los Angeles to help victims of Niagara's crushing 1973 earthquake disaster. That's pretty awesome. The Rolling Stones sang I Want to Be Your Man on the first ever broadcast of the popular BBC show Top of the Pops in 1964. Be awesome. So those are pretty awesome cards. On to the second pack. We didn't score anything extra in that one. We just added cards to the set that we'll collect. So let's see if we can score anything in this one. Oh, we did get something. We got one of the tongue tattoos. It's a Canadian one, so that's pretty awesome. So we did score that. Oh, and look at there. We also got that card to go with it. It says the Rolling Stones world slip away from their European tour in 2003 to play Toronto's Starstock Fest in front of 450,000 people. That's pretty awesome. All right, next one we got here. After 25 concerts in eight weeks, the, the Some Girls Tour came to a finish on Mick Jagger's 35th birthday in Oakland. So these are pretty good, like, if you ever want to play trivia and you want to learn the facts. The sold-out 1976 European tour launched its Germany on April 28th and came to rest in Austria 40 shows later in June. Now, each of these cards, like, this is the European tour. This one says Charlie Watts. Uh, 1989 highlight. The Rolling Stones issued their first 12-inch extended play single in June and 1978 with a dance mix of The Golden Miss You. Next one. Oh, group photo. Here we go. Rolling Stones at the Max was recorded amid the band's 1990 European tour with sets from Turin, Berlin, and London, England. 
Alright, next one. Oh, this one says Mick Jagger and David Bowie 1985 remake of Dancing in the Streets landed at the number one in the UK following its premiere at Live Aid. Man, do you guys remember Live Aid? I remember Live Aid. <laughs> that was amazing. Next one. So we've scored one tattoo so far. We're going to open another one, see if we score anything extra. Haven't seen any guitar picks or anything yet. Ooh, we got another sticker though. This one's kind of crazy looking. Look at that one. Um, not another sticker. This is tattoo. All right, let's see what cards we got. This one, the memorable 1969 Hyde Park tribute marked the first concert appearance by Mick Taylor as guitarist for the Rolling Stones. Like I said, this is great trivia. The last licks from concert from New York City's Madison Square Garden was played on live television via HBO and seen worldwide in 2003. That's crazy. The Rolling Stones closed out their 1975 American tour in Buffalo, New York with over 70,000 fans on hand at Rich Stadium. What? That's friggin' crazy. The Rolling Stones won a Grammy Award in 1997 as their Voodoo Lounge was voted Best Rock Album of the year by officials. Wow, man, oh man. Over a million fans sufficed to witness the Rolling Stones record-setting concert on the beach at Rio Copacabana in 2006. I mean, the Rolling Stones, they're not my favorite band, but come on, they're like a band, okay? I mean, they're the Stones. <laughs> Next card, here we go. Released by the opening of the Stones 1975 American Tour, Made the Shade is a compilation of past hit singles. So that is the first three packs. Check out the next video and see what we score in that one. But don't forget, leave a comment. Let me know what you like about the Stones or which tattoo you liked better. And don't forget, stick around, check out my Patreons. They get something every month and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.